Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to This is the Police 2. Uh, so, as you guys are going to be able to tell from the title and the thumbnail of the video, this is going to be the finale video. However, I, the way I was originally planning on doing this, and I already did do it, actually, this way, uh, which is why it's taken me so long to get this video out, because I'm re-recording it. Uh, originally, what I was planning on doing, or what I, I did do, is I recorded the audio uh, for ending it, kind of gave my review of the game, how I felt about it, and then I recorded the gameplay for the day uh, so you guys could watch it while you know, I talked, kind of gave my review of the game. Uh, however, the this day here ends up being like really, really good. It adds a lot of like new mechanics, uh, a lot of new stuff. It was just fun to play. And then I was like, damn, it's a shame that I'm only showing the gameplay like behind, you know, behind the review. Um, and so it just wasn't the best way to do it. So I figured we're going to change up the way we're going to do the finale video. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing the finale, uh, is cause I, I just don't have time to, to be recording right now. And this series has been incredibly difficult for me to record guys, uh, with the auto save being in really, really inconsistent. I've already had to replay sections multiple times. Uh, and then I often have to do videos much longer than I want them to be. You know, I only want to do like 30 something minutes and you can't get through a day in this game in 30 something minutes uh when you have like the tactical missions it's just not possible uh so I, I constantly have to do longer videos which i just can't do right now when i'm doing as much as i'm already doing and then on top of that um the auto saves have required me to replay sections over and over and i'm, I'm just not enjoying that uh, so it's just been a difficult series for me to record so that's the main reason why we're ending it as much as i am enjoying it and i do have issues with the game as well which we'll talk about that towards the end of the the video here uh, but let's go and get started with the day because I want to show you guys some stuff. We already got everything, uh, all these guys assigned. So let's get started. Um, but as I said, there's a lot of like new stuff that's added. Um, so we're supposed to be arresting somebody here. I don't know where she's at. Let's just send, let's just go to the uh, registry office. Uh, this is random which place they're at, I think, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, if you've done it before or not. So we're going to go and send Aaronovic Air over there. And let's just hope she's there. Uh, and then we also have a bunch of stuff progress. here that I'm not clicking on. Mr. Nash, it's great to meet you. Actually, I still had this week off. When I heard we finally had a real man at the department, I decided to return to work as soon as possible. You'd be amazed with my abilities. I can smell a criminal from, from, from a mile away. So we got a new guy here. Um, we have a call and we have a homicide here. Rosemary Medical Center, an LA patient, Michael Sandman, was smothered to death by a pillow in a hospital bed. So we have a new, uh, new investigation, I believe. So let's go ahead and send somebody off to it. Let's say in McGuire, I think. Is he intelligent? He's somewhat intelligent. I want somebody, maybe Randon should be the one that we send. Let's send Randon to the new mission. So let's get this, uh, uh, it's a woodworking factory. A drunken worker at the front gate is fighting with the guard because he's been kicked off the job site. All right, Rosencrantz, you're on, on duty. Take care of this for us. Um, trying to get this other stuff clicked on, but so much stuff is happening. So, Mr. Nash, you're new in town. I don't know if you can be trusted, but I'd be fucked if I went to that woman who's wearing the sheriff's badge. After all, we know how she got it, right? Anyway, listen, in the rec center, where I work as a bathhouse attendant, some fugitives from prison have taken up residence. They pass themselves off as, as some construction investors, but last night I accidentally overheard them talking about how they broke out of Ripton Prison, robbed a secondhand store, and now waiting for their homies to help them across the border. Everything would be fine, but one of them noticed me, and long story short, they jumped out and messed me up so bad. Uh, they jumped out uh, and messed me up so bad I hadn't even stopped bleeding yet. When they left, they told me they'd beat the fuck out of me if I told anyone anything. I also heard they were going to be staying low for five days, while news for their, of their escape quiets down. Listen, I can't wait to get back to work in this condition, or I can't go back to work <laughs> in this condition. No way. Plus, I'm worried they won't keep their word and kill me right, right in the bathhouse. Okay. So this is a this is one of the things I was telling you guys about. Uh, these are the missions we, we saw it in that tutorial video, that first video, which is really just tutorial stuff. And he planned everything out um, and we didn't get to do anything. And it was also said normally you get more days to do it. Yeah, this is this is it. Um, so things to do. Get the key for the back entrance and warn the manager about the assault. Get all information available. Outfit and assign your strike team. Um, so you can see what we can do here. Um, so yeah, there's a lot, uh, which is really, really cool uh, that we have that. Uh, hold up. And it looks like we caught her. Good job, Aaron Novick. Uh, so uh, Emil Peterson turned out to be a member of a gang known as the Woodsman. 
He could help you take down the gang if you made him informant. Here's another new thing, guys. Informants, which you can interrogate. So let's accept that offer. And you can see that uh, this is the Woodsman gang. And these are the, the members, the top one. It looks like you get $45,000 if you catch them. Uh, so we've got an informant in the Woodsman now. So super useful. Um, so let's go ahead and do these missions here. We have the Death House. Mr. Nash, you've probably already heard about my accomplishments in the field of chemistry. Recently, I developed a truth serum. I want to say that, did we already, I'll let you guys read this because I'm not sure. I, I could have swore that we had read this one before, but once again, I already played this, as I said. Uh, so I don't know if maybe I'm just remembering that time that I read it, but I thought we'd read it on camera. So I'm not going to read it again. You guys can read it. Um, and let's go ahead and send somebody. We're going to we're gonna want to do this one. Um, so is there anything in particular needs? Oh, this is the one where he needs stuff. Okay, we did read this one, I think, and we don't have any of those items just yet. And we decided not to do the post office one. So we don't need to do any of those, but we do need to do this winter nights one. Uh, we need to get the key for the back entrance and call off the security guard who stands guard near this door and any other personnel. The manager has the keys, but they need to be collected from him at home in the evening and not at work so that the criminals don't notice the cops. The manager will provide us the key until the employees of the complex to go home early on the night of the assault. So, um, they need to be collecting from him at home at night. It's not nighttime. So let's wait. Um, and then we have close encounters second hand. Two pregnant women are fighting over a baby outfit. Oh, this sounds serious. <laughs> so let's... Uh, Spurlock is not going to go by herself. Oh, yeah, that's right. She. Oh, she did go by herself. All right, I know she's loyal now, but I've still been having troubles with her even when she's loyal. Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on. All right, so let's do this one first. Luckily, we got a lot of cops on shift today. Uh, the defendants in a rape case in a rape case snatched the bailiff's gun and threatened to kill himself unless he was given a fair hearing. All right, so we're gonna have to send a ton of people on this mission to get this done. All right, well, no, never mind. We have Aronovic. He can go, uh, and then we'll send. Well, he's already done some today. We'll send McGuire. Uh, McGuire in wood bag would probably be a bit much. How about that? Yeah, Brodka, our old, that's our old guys. <laughs> a couple of old dudes to handle this up. That seems like a great bunch you should be sending for such a serious uh, crime. Uh, the drunken, well, and veteran cops, guys. I'm sure they can handle it. The drunken worker takes a boxing stance and menacing the guard yelling, come on, son, I will sting you like a bee. So this is Rosencrantz. Um, take a left-handed boxing stance, take a right-handed boxing stance, or pick up the baton. Pick up the baton, you're a cop. Oh, he can't, he doesn't have, oh, he does have a gun. Okay, I gotta select him, that's right. All right, my friend, aren't you aren't playing by the rules. The worker screams and takes a knife from his pocket. Knock the knife from the worker's hand with a baton. Tell the man to drop the knife and fight fair, or shoot the man. Shoot him. I'm not going to put my cop in, at risk. The cop shoots the worker in the chest, and he dies instantly. I know that you could have got more points. We found wood woodchuck beer. Could have got more uh, points at the end here. Um, what we need to do is this one. Yeah, I just wasn't going to put Rosencrantz in jeopardy. Uh, Jameson Hill. I'm a former mayor, major, retired with full honors. When the military base in Sharpwood closed, I managed to take a box of all sorts of test samples of military gadgets. There's some listening devices among them, which I'm sure would be useful in your work. I'll give you a wire too, but first you have to help me. Here's the situation. My wife kicked me out of the house because supposedly I drink too much. Supposedly. <laughs> but what else am I supposed to do on retirement? So she kicked me out and she started bringing younger men around. Oh wow, that's fucked up. Uh, I even found out about an insurance agent, Mick Shipsley, the kid in his 30s. So here's what I want. Send a younger cop to my wife and we'll give him a wire to take along. Since it turns out she's such a whore, your man should be easily should easily be able to seduce her and will record everything. I'll present it as evidence in court and get a divorce from the slut and she won't be seeing a cent of my military pension. I'm all for helping this guy out, man. But we need somebody with, hmm, negotiation maybe? I don't know what you'd want for that. With just a sexy pick. Well, it doesn't get any sexier than beards. So, Aaronovic, take care of it, man. He looks young, too. I think he can handle it. <laughs> I don't know if he wants to do it or not. I feel fucked up just sending a cop and just telling one of my officers, hey, go fuck this woman and <laughs> record it. Oh, I'm a terrible, terrible police chief, ain't I? Passerby reports that a photographer is fighting with a local doctor. Well, well, well. I don't think we're going to be able to send enough officers to this. I mean, I guess we send all our garbage officers. Damn, man. We got to send four officers? Pfft. Oh, Lord. Or we could just wait for some of our officers to get back. It's probably be the best way to do this. I don't know if it, that'll... We'll see if we can make it, guys. 
All right, two women in late term pregnancy are, are playing tug of war with a bright baby outfit and trying to hit each other in the face. So we got Spurlock. She can shoot in the air, carefully separate the women. Lady, here's another outfit here that's exactly the same. All right, well, she didn't have very good negotiation, so I don't know how well that would work. Let's try it. The women immediately stopped fighting and hurried to the pile of clothes the cop pointed to. He easily arrested them while they were distracted. Spurlock is a lady. Oh, I said he. Cops found Henry's smile infant formula at the crime scene. Okay. I don't know if we'll need that for anything. Uh, this is the suicide threat. The defendant is holding a pistol to his temple, repeating, everyone has the right to a fair trial. Uh, though the courtroom is crowded, everyone is frightened and standing motionless. So we can take the judge's hammer and call everyone to order. <laughs> Evacuate the courtroom. Maybe we should start by reading the verdict. Um, I think we should probably evacuate the courtroom. The defense shoots at the ceiling. No, it's not going to work. I want an open trial. Okay, so we can shoot him, rush across the table to the defendant, or maybe we should start by reading the verdict. Alright, um, if he doesn't like it. Yeah, but what if the verdict is that he's innocent? <laughs> Alright, we don't want to have to shoot him in front of all these people. Let's see what, what this is. Let's just see what the verdict is. Uh, then we should probably go to negotiation. Defendant agrees. Yes, let's hear what blind justice decided there. Uh, it says here that you're innocent. It says that you're guilty and sentenced to life imprisonment. It says here that you're guilty and sentenced to death. Oh. Well, we could just tell him he's innocent and then arrest him when as soon as he puts a gun down. Let's try that. Five twenty nine. Justice is trying to after all, exclaims the defendant. He drops his weapon and surrenders to police. I'm sorry for my outburst. I'll accept whatever punishment I have coming. Okay. <laughs> so, Matt McGuire just got an upgrade. Let's put it into oh shooting. I, I'm going with the old old move here. Like he's he's not very good at at strength or speed. He's all smarts. All right, so we can now do this because we have Rosencrantz who can take care of it, and he can do it by himself. Oh wait, no, he needs one officer with him. There you go, Percy. You're gonna see how a real cop works. All right, so so far we haven't sent to these guys to do anything yet, so probably should have just sent all of them. We've got an animal abuse case. It's Oven Lovin' Bakery. Uh, a drunk man brought in his dash, ha dash hound and demands that it be killed and cooked in a pie. The animal is whining and pulling at the leash, and the man responds by kicking it. Oh, wow, this is fucked up. All right. Yeah, not liking this at all. Let's send these two to take care of the job. Um, what do we have here? Mr. Nash, I managed to get the lady's ankles over her head, if you know what I mean. True, she wore me out. She's a firecracker. Of course, her husband was upset, but he kept his promise. I get the wiretap. I got the wiretap. Now our station is decked out like James Bond, and Aaronovic is exhausted. Wow. Yeah, it really did wear him out, and we got a little bit of uh, cash from that as well. We're really close to the 20000 that we'll need for the next day. Um, and it's almost evening for us to do that, because it did say we wanted to do that in the evening. The doctor has detained a photographer at the clinic gates. The photographer is whining. It's a street picture for a Freeburg art project. You narrow-minded asshole. Get off me. I document human suffering. Okay, so Freeburg sucks. <laughs> turn on the siren or watch what happens. Let's turn on the siren, guys. Hearing the siren, the doctor releases the photographer and moves to escape. You shoot him with a taser. Take the offender out with the sniper, which we don't have a sniper. Or catch him. Shoot him with a taser. Cop shoots the doctor with the taser, and there we go. And Rosencrantz now has another point to to invest. So let's put it into oh, let's do uh, let's do speed. Okay, things moving on nicely. Let's go ahead and get this job done now that it is nighttime. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and just send. Does it matter which cop it is? I don't think so. Let's send Spurlock. She can get it done. A drunk man steps on the dog's paw and shoots and shouts to the cook. Turn it into any kind of pie. I'm not picky. You could even do sausages. The point is still the same. The mutt couldn't even learn to use the toilet. Wow. So we hit it with the baton. We don't have the shocker. Are we going to restrain him? Um, let's hit him with the baton. Smack him. The dash hound grabbed the cop's baton and attempted to protect his master. So it's still trying to protect the master. I'm not going <sighs> to... Fuck, are you serious? We got to stab him? God damn it. Cop stabbed the dash down in the stomach with a big knife and dies almost instantly. Meanwhile, the master runs out of the bakery. We're going to get this guy for what he fucking did. It's his fault. 536. Cop stopped, stunned the criminal with a taser shot. He won't be eating his dog tonight, though he might have preferred it to prison food. The dog's dead, though. So it didn't work out nice. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. God damn it. 
not what we wanted, guys. It's not what we wanted. Um, let's give him a point and shoot him. He's garbage. Okay, so today's going well, though. I mean, other than us having to stab the damn dog. Yeah, as I said, that's really not what I wanted. Um, and yeah, we can't do this one because we don't have the items that we need, I don't think. You need cocaine, coffee, and paprika. Let's just take a look at what we currently have because I'm curious. And we also, I think, can buy stuff too. Um, so let's see. We need three things. And it looks like we don't have a single one of them. Okay, well, that's where we stand. Remember, we can also buy stuff and sell stuff, but it's expensive. It's incredibly expensive. Oh, wow. All right, yeah, everything is insanely, insanely expensive. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is I want to get another taser cartridge. I feel like we need more. Let's gonna get a few more. Cause we use these a lot. Let's do one more. All right, there we go. Spend a little bit of money. Uh, I feel comfortable, confident that we'll have the 20000 that we need at the end of the, uh, the week, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right, so today's going to actually probably end up without a tactical mission, it seems. Mr. Nash is done. Here's the key. Workers at Winter Nights will leave work early on the Night of the Salt. All right, so we've got the key. Now we need to get all the information available. I don't know how you do that. I'm guessing it'll be another mission. Maybe we'll get it the next day. Seems like we do have three days to prepare, so maybe you do one thing each day. That makes sense. Um, something suspicious. There are rumors in the city of three strange men who were recently seen in the pub. They obviously weren't from around here. They were armed and dressed like special agents or spies. They quietly looked around, made some notes in their notebooks, and walked up to the, walked up to the bar. Obviously not for a drink. I wonder what brought them to Sharkwood. Oh, I don't know. So I actually didn't play this far. What do we have here? Rosemary Medical Center. So yeah, I didn't play this far because I decided about halfway through... Um, that I didn't want to because we had new stuff and I actually got to do a interview um, or interrogation on that time which I haven't got to do at this time so it was weird um, but yeah there's was, there's was, you know obviously this new this new mission the three-day mission thing that we have that was new but yeah there was an interrogation too and that's what I wanted to show you guys but I haven't got to do it unfortunately uh, you know because everything happens randomly everything's different every day um, mr. Nash I need your help I don't know who to turn to my wife has cancer and the usual treatment treatments won't help I read in a medical journal about a new experimental drug where gold dust is used. I have all the necessary equipment for the procedure, only the material itself is missing. If you could get at least one gold bar for me, it could save my wife's life. Sorry, that was a wife call and asking what we were going to eat for dinner. We're going to eat some Bubba's 33. It's a restaurant here in Colorado Springs. It's kind of far away, but it's it's not too long of a drive from Jinx's work. Uh, so, you know, you sometimes get it when she gets off work, but it's, it's too far for us to, to drive. Uh, we don't often drive there when you know from our house or whatever so uh, but yeah it's a really nice restaurant they got some good food uh, we pick up stuff we rarely ever eat in restaurants anymore because it's it's cheaper to just do the the takeout um god if you don't do takeout guys you should i know that the food's not quite as good and you don't get the experience and stuff but if you're trying to save money you do you do save a lot because you're not buying the drinks uh you're not giving the tip um and you just tend to spend less um it's it's not a lot but i mean when you're talking about a restaurant for family saving 10 bucks is is helpful um but yeah good restaurant if you're in the colorado springs area check it out uh, it's on powers which is the big road uh, that goes all the way uh, you know north to south here in the city on the uh east side of town all right guys so let's finish reading i don't even know where the fuck i was uh if you could at least get one gold bar for me it could save my wife's life i will never forget it and 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 for as long as you serve in the police i can take care of any of your wounded cops in every sense of the phrase i know that sometimes you might rather someone doesn't recover oh wow you can have him murdered okay yeah this seems super useful to have this guy on our side so let's send him somebody does it matter who we send i have all in it do we have a gold bar i don't think we do have a gold bar actually let's just take a look if we have one um i know we can buy one but good god they're stupidly expensive let's just take a look i mean it should be it's gold yeah it's eighty six hundred dollars for a gold bar yeah, we're not gonna be able to afford to get that right now, buddy. Sorry, but yeah, we would want to do that eventually. Luckily, these things can be carried on to the next day. So I think we got all our missions and stuff completed today. Excellent. Things went well today. It went very well. 
of investigation. Let's take a look. Harold Randon interrogated some of the witnesses and prepared a pre preliminary report for night terrors on the ward. So let's take a look at the investigation here. Uh, patients sleep in the hospital ward. The body of Michael Sandman in his hospital bed. Oh, his last name was Sandman too? All right, let's take a look at the case here. An elderly patient, Michael Sandman, was smothered to death by a pillow in his hospital bed. His name is Sandman though, like really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have three of the frames. I wonder if, oh, but we don't have any for the dissatisfied patient. We have three for the nurse and only one for the dissatisfied patient. Let's take a look at the crime scene clues. The victim's bed was wet from urine with another puddle on the floor. Under the old man's bed, there was a dog-eared bookmark. Hmm. Okay. Medical expert. Michael Salmon was asphyxi asphyxiated. I always have trouble with that word. With a pillow. His nose is broken. Given the fragility of the old man's bones, a fracture might have occurred from a sharp, stri sharp strike or even from the pressure of the pillow on his face. There were traces of blood on his pillow. But yeah, I hate that fucking word. If you guys don't know, I do have a, a speech problem that I've kind of struggled with my whole life, and YouTube has helped out a lot with me, uh, helped me pronounce words. Um, gotten a lot better uh, with it overall. Uh, but some words still are just really challenging for me. Um, Primo Peresi. Uh, no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, patient. Who, this is one of the witnesses, perhaps. Uh, his doctors crossed Michael Salmon off the list a long time ago. He regularly coughed up blood, sometimes even pissed on the floor at night. We've got a newcomer, Don Brom, and all of Michael's carrying on drove him up the wall, even though he was the opposite in the room. He just couldn't let it go when Michael made another puddle on the floor. He yelled that he hadn't come to the hospital for biting microbes to crawl all over his feet. Funny guy. Figured he found a place to hide from the germs, the place where all the sick people in Shark would go. <laughs> okay, so he's uh, maybe the suspicion, sus suspicious patient, or it could be Eric McDougal. I knew the front door opposite the bunk of our regular guest, Michael Salmon. Nobody on the ward liked him, and everybody knew it. Who wants to be neighbors with someone who screams at night and pisses himself like a baby? Miss Spivy, our night nurse, couldn't stand him either. I heard her cursing all the time as she walked along the corridor where he was yelling. I'm over by the door, but I can still hear everything, especially at night when it's quiet. Miss Spivy liked it when it was quiet. She'd sit with the book most of the time. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know who it is. We're gonna need some more. We're gonna need some more clues, guys. All right, end of the day, and that's where we're at on that. Three days left for the winter nights mission, uh, and we got a ton of tabs. Not as many as we got on other days, but I think we have some in reserve. I think we saved some. Apparently not. Can't get some more cops. Let's see who we got available here. He's exhausted. He has negotiation ability, and he's not very loyal. I don't think. Oh, actually, he might be loyal. No, no, he's not loyal. He, he has the tie, but yeah, he has this here, which would indicate it, and that he doesn't have the hat. Okay, so we don't want him. Probably gonna get, oh, wait a minute, this guy's better. I was gonna say we're gonna get him, because he had the, uh, I just saw the, the tabs, and I was like, oh, he's better, but he is actually not better. No, this guy's better. He's got better professionalism and better stats. All right, that's who we're getting then. And let's get something over here as well. Um, I'll just get one of these, I'll just get them all. Next. Okay, so we can go and select tomorrow's shift um, and get Hodges going. Wow, thousand rating, really good. Uh, Rosecrans is tired. Chapman's coming to work though. Um, get Clemsy coming in as well. And Birch the third, Jacob Demiers. We've got a lot of officers now. Yeah, quite a few officers, which is nice. It's nice having all these guys here to bring into work. And we want some lower ranking ones as well. Frazier and this guy. All right, that'll work. Let's bring them into work, which is going to be 12. Well, you know, we'll bring another one in. We're going to have a lot for them to do. And some of them are going to, of course, not want to come to work the next day. All right, December 3rd. I'd like to see Sheriff Lily Reed. Why do you need Sheriff Reed, Mr. Carter? Captain Britt Carter. That's why the day when you, Captain Carter, step through the threshold of our department will not only be an important day for the whole of Sharpwood,
but also a very happy day for me personally. Well, it seems I'm here to make Sheriff Reed very happy, son. Hey, I told you to stay away from my office. It looks like... It looks like we've got a problem here. And I need something that will help with these headaches. I, I get migraines, you know. Or is this a migraine or is it just a headache? It's not the same thing, you know. They're, they're different things and they need different medicines. The cure for one is not the cure uh, for the other, you know. And, and, and if something isn't curing you, it's killing you. The medicine for headaches won't help with migraines. Doctor, can I explain the difference to me? But I, I. Uh... Okay. Do you do you need an aspirin? No, 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 no. It's a different one. Acetaminophen. No, no, no. The one with the letter B. Hmm. Well, let's just write that down. We need to talk now. Excuse me, Mr. Nash, but right now I'm. Hey, can't you see? The, there's a line. I um. What's going on here? I just listened to the needs of our townspeople every week. I try to help them get access to food and drugs that aren't easy to come by in Sharkwood. I don't want to... I don't want them going to the smugglers, you know? Get back to the end of the line. Quiet. I work here. Lily, there's a man you in... You work here? Well, then, I'll tell you, boy, the floor in the corridor I walked across over there is the dirtiest floor I've ever seen in my life. And if my taxes are going to... I'm not the janitor, I'm a cop. A cop? Perfect. Perfect. So you have to solve my problem with the rats. I don't... Lily, listen. There's a man named Carter waiting for us in my office. Carter? Wait, Captain Brick Carter? Yes, yes, that's him. Would you, uh... Tip. Write down all the medications Mr. Moses needs, then do the same for the others. Get everything down in detail. Go, oh, forget about your notebook. Take mine. Start a new page for each person. Got it? There's still one thing I just can't understand, my dear. Why did you write me this letter? If you already have this, uh, this... Uh, Mr. Nash appeared out of... He appeared unexpectedly. He worked undercover for a while, and he... He was sent for by... This is an operation. It's all part of a big operation. Some kind of big operation. I myself don't know all the details. But I think Mr. Nash himself can tell you everything he... Oh, I have no doubt that Mr. Nash will tell us everything. He'll tell us how he was assigned to this operation. He'll tell us how he was sent his orders on a beautiful piece of paper with a, a, a seal and a signature. He'll tell us how he had to pack up everything in his big city apartment and how carefully he packed his expensive trousers in his expensive suitcase. <laughs> oh, how he had to grow a beard to blend in. Yeah, <laughs> He'll tell us all about his brilliant career. Oh, you must have been an excellent student at the Academy, Mr. Nash. <laughs> oh, perhaps you think you already know everything there is to know. But there's something you don't know, Mr. Nash. It's something very important. A city like Sharpwood can't be saved by some uh, upstart careerists and bureaucrats from central administration. A city like Sharpwood can only be saved by its people. People who were born here, who grew up here. These are our demons, Mr. Nash, <laughs> and we have to deal with them ourselves. You were sent here by the chiefs in the suits, while I, prodigal son of Sharpwood, was returned here by the Lord himself. Oh, so in your opinion, Sharpwood will be saved by a lame soldier with no police experience holding his Bible at the ready. I will not take offense to your disrespectful remarks, Mr. Nash, because I myself was once just a stupid fool. I did not understand that God saved me in the war. I did not understand that 
it was he who helped me survive after... Uh, after what happened to me after the war. But now I understand. Now I see. Now I am ready and have no doubt, Mr. Nash, I have come not with a shield, but with a sword. Well then prove it. Work here for a week and show us what you can do. All right, I already said we're not making this into a stupid game. Mr. Nash, you've done an excellent job, but you have to agree that this Lily, this isn't, isn't a game, it's... This is a test, and it's a test that I humbly accept, my dear Lily. I have endured many, passed them all with dignity, and I will endure this one, too. Oh, of course. You'll love it. Excellent. Just fine. Now we have two more stubborn boys in the department. And so the plot thickens. We have somebody competing with us for a job here. Of course, Chapman's still damn drunk, even if he is loyal. Oh, was Goodwin always a drunk? I don't remember. All right, so this is our shift today, guys. Um, we're actually not going to be playing. Uh, we're just going to end it off here. Um, I did want to give my review of the game, though, just for those of you who are curious how I personally feel about it uh, with having played it. Many of you guys have joined me and watched it, so you're going to know uh, everything I'm going to say here. I've kind of expressed it as I've been playing, um, but for those of you who are just joining, just want to hear how I feel about it, whether it's worth uh, purchasing based on, you know, the, I think we've played for about, oh, probably five, six hours already, uh, and yeah, I wanted to give you guys my thoughts. So, as you guys know, uh, I, I'm digging the story. I'm really, really liking the story, but I don't like the way they did it. Uh, first of all, they, they've just vomited out the story in the beginning of the game before I really cared about it before i cared about the characters before i knew what was going on before i knew if i wanted to play the game uh, as i said in that first or second video i don't i don't like when games do that uh i want to get to the gameplay as quickly as possible um you can give me a little bit of story you can give me that initial cutscene, get me into the game sh set it up tell me what's going on here uh but don't just just throw all this information and all these characters out to me when I don't even know that I want to play your game yet. Um, let me enjoy the gameplay for a little bit first. That's why a lot of games give you those huge, big action scenes. You get to play like for, you know, 15, 20 minutes, uh, and they get you invested in the gameplay where it's it's awesome. A lot of times they'll then strip your character of their powers and stuff, their abilities or whatever, and we're talking about action type of games. And then they start giving you the story and putting you into the characters. And this game didn't do that, and I think that was a big, major mess misstep. Um, when they put us in a game, the game with an hour and a half of of playing and still not having got to the regular game it was about an hour and a half before we got to the gameplay guys uh, that is excessive that is way too much uh, so that was a big problem for me uh, obviously it's also been a very uh, difficult video for me to re or a difficult series for me to record as i was saying earlier in the video uh with the auto saves i hate auto saves um honestly uh auto saves can be good you know but I, I want a manual save system on top of the auto saves. I want to be able to save the game when I'm ready to get off. Uh, that's kind of a big pet peeve for me. It's not just while recording. It is especially important when you are doing a Let's Play series so you can get off whenever you want to. Um, but even when I'm not doing a Let's Play series, if I want to get off, I, I want to get off right now. And, and I want to be able to, to save it if I can. Um, I know some games can't do that. Uh, but this game is is excessive with it. Um, the auto saves are are just not very reliable uh you can't even say like oh it's always going to save at the end of the day uh, it's always going to save after that cutscene at the end of the day it's always going to save when i get to the new day you don't know when it's going to save uh so i've lost a lot of content i mean nobody wants to have to replay a section over again uh so those are all kind of like just complaints with the way that they they set up the the story and the, the way that their autosave system as far as the actual gameplay though uh so as i said i've enjoyed the story i do think they they maybe spend a little bit too much time on it and it also feels like there's a lot of story that doesn't need to be there and telling us a lot of stuff that is uh i don't know it's just over excessive it's very heavy-handed the story uh and um the cutscenes they have like long sections of just quiet uh, and it's like i just want to get the gameplay or you know something important in the story and then just have these long moments of silence um, which is, is fine for some games, but I don't know. It just didn't work for me on this game. And I rarely find myself complaining about that uh, in these type of games, but for some reason, this one has irked me a little bit when it comes to uh, those, those, the way they did the story and just the slow dragging of it. 
Um, so while I enjoy the overall story, I, I, I don't know. Just the way they did it just uh, could have been done better. Uh, on to the rest of the gameplay. So the day-to-day gameplay, which is just like the previous game, uh, is about what I expected. They added some more stuff. Uh, they made it more in-depth. And it was exactly what I was expecting in the game, and I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's good. I think they did a good job with it. They made they kept enough where it feels like this is the police, while adding enough to it where it feels like a new game in the same time. So very good job there. The the t- uh, tactical battles were a highlight for me of this game. I absolutely uh, loved the tactical battles. It actually made me want to go check out uh, other games that had tactical battles. Maybe you know that emphasize a little bit more. That's why I started playing that Sword Legacy Omen game. Uh, so it's simply because after playing this, I so badly wanted some more tactical battles in my life, more turn-based tactical battles. I love the way they did did the tactical battles in Ares. It was fun. They did a good job with it. So I thought the gameplay was great. I, I liked it a lot. And it, if it wasn't for the missteps with the story and uh, auto saves and stuff like that, then then I think that this game would be rated much higher for me than than it is. Because uh, the other issues are, are enough to kind of drag it down a bit. And then there's another problem I've had with it. The difficulty curve uh, is reversed from what you typically see in a game. In a game, it's usually really easy in the beginning. And then, the, you know, it gets more difficult as you go. And hopefully that difficulty curve is, is uh, you know, uh, very gradual so that you can, you know, learn as you go. And then it gets more challenging and and uh, not too challenging where you feel like you're overwhelmed. You know, you don't want to play that kind of game. But this game is the exact opposite. Uh, in the beginning, things are so much more challenging than they are at the end. In the beginning, you got a bunch of cops who won't listen to you. You're disloyal. Uh, they don't listen. They refuse to do what you tell them to do. They won't go do this. They won't work by themselves. They won't work with certain people. It just causes lots of problems. You go to do the, ta- the tactical battles with them, and they just do their own thing. Just kind of, They can just ruin the whole battle for you. Uh, and then you have... Um, a lack of officers, a real lack of officers to get the job done. I mean, we had several days where we could not get everything done because we just didn't have enough officers. We had like five officers on shift. And the day was one of those days where you needed about eight to nine officers to get everything done. And so we constantly find ourselves not going to get shit done. Well, you eventually get to this point of the game where everybody's loyal. I mean, we don't have too many disloyal officers. Just looking at this day here, we don't have a single disloyal officer. Everybody's loyal to us. Everybody does their job. Uh, just the first of all, just the disloyal mechanic though, kind of bugs me too. Uh, how unrealistic it is because it's, it's supposed to be like it's not a cop simulator, but you know you're supposed to feel like you're part of the police force. I have done paramilitary jobs my entire life, or and military jobs, of course. Well, I was in the army, uh, but yeah, from working on corrections uh, to you know working security, I've I've worked paramilitary jobs, and. In a paramilitary job, like uh, being in the police force, you cannot tell your superior no. That's just not the way it works. Uh, you can't tell them no, unless it's like a completely unreasonable request, you know, that you know, would maybe require you to break the law or break company policy or do something that you're extremely not comfortable with. Uh, pretty much, if, if somebody tells you to do something, you have to do it. Uh, it's just the way it is. You're going to lose your job, lose your rank. You'll get written up. Uh, you And here, if a cop doesn't like you, he can just not do what you say, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I mean, you can send him back to Lily, but, yeah, that's just not how... It's just not how it works in the police force. So it's just kind of odd that they that they made that a major mechanic. Kind of bugs me a little bit, um, but whatever. It's, it's 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 a game, so I know that they added it for gameplay purposes. It's still, I just wanted to mention that it is kind of weird uh, from somebody who does have experience in these type of jobs. Uh, it's just not uh, it's just not realistic. Um, but yeah, and then you you get everybody loyal. Uh, you get a ton of officers, and then they add more mechanics to the game, of course, to make it more interesting. But it doesn't feel difficult anymore. Like I never, it doesn't. I don't really feel challenged anymore. It feels like we can. Uh, the early rush where it was like, oh, we can't get this shit done. We need to hurry up and get these officers back so we can send them on the next, next job. And and these guys won't listen to me. And all those problems we were having are no longer present. And it feels weird to have so much difficulty in the beginning of the game and then for it to step back so much as you've, you're progressing when you'd expect it to actually get more difficult. Uh, so, yeah, and, and we're not even that far along, and already we've gotten to the point where it's, it feels a lot easier. So I think that could have been changed a bit, maybe like a little bit easier in the beginning and then more difficult at the end. I don't know exactly how they would go about doing that, but I think that would improve the difficulty curve and progression a little bit. Uh, but other than those gripes, I mean, it's a good game. 
Uh, if you were to give it a score, I mean, it's it's like one of those like seven out of ten games. Honestly, maybe you might give it an eight out of ten. Um, but yeah, it's 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 fun to play. I enjoyed it, but it has these major issues that are pulling it back from being the game that it could be. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I I like the series. Uh, and it's a bummer we couldn't continue playing it. Just don't have the time. Uh, but I think it was a really really good look at the game overall, though. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Uh, if you have, make sure you leave the like on this here video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell and. Make sure you go check out some of our other content, guys. we got a lot of stuff on the channel. Uh, like I said, if you were liking the tactical battles we saw here, uh, you go check out the Sword Legacy Omen, uh, which is like a King Arthur one. Did about three videos uh, in that. And it's um, that same turn-based tactical gameplay. Uh, with the, you know, It's got a good story as well. Uh, so I've been enjoying that. And then uh, Jinx and I are playing Divinity Original Sin, which also has a kind of more tactical turn-based style of battles is it is an rpg though so it's a bit different than than this game of course uh, but yeah we're playing co-op on that on um, the ps4 pro it's the definitive edition and having a blast with it uh, really liking divinity uh, divinity quite a bit uh, so go check out that if you're looking for a strategy game i'm playing hearts of iron 4 right now as the german empire so that's um been a enjoyable series too we're kind of winding down all that one uh, so you should be able to find plenty of stuff on the channel, whether it's a recent thing or you go back and check some of our old content out. We've got a lot of videos, so hopefully you'll be able to find something that you'll enjoy. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and end it here. I, it's a bummer I wasn't able to show you guys some of the other stuff that happened that, that the other time I recorded this, where I got about halfway through the day. I was like, oh, that's, this is not the way I want to do this. So I just had to end the recording and just uh, decided to redo it this way. And we got to see some of the stuff, but we didn't get to see the... There was interrogation uh, that first time I recorded, so... Uh, that was kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, we didn't get to do that for whatever reason. So but yeah, sorry, I just left it on this screen too. I don't know what I, I didn't want to play though. Um, obviously, I would have been pretty distracted if I was trying to play while talking. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the review. It's going to be it for the series. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you on another series. And then uh, have a great rest of your weekend, guys.